This is self myofascial release or foam rolling of our quads. Now our quads are our large thigh in the front. Now there's three parts of the quad that you can foam roll and we want to foam roll them all. So we want to get slightly medially, so more to the inside, right down the middle of the quad, and then also slightly laterally. So not on the IT band. The IT band is that very lateral area of fascia that runs down. There's no point on foam rolling that area because it's really tensile tissue and you're not going to make any change there. But we can foam roll just to the outside of that line. So we're going to start face down, and you can choose whether I'm starting slightly medially or right down. You'll have to adjust your body in the position, but we can foam roll all the way from basically the top of the knee to the hip because that's where that full quad runs. So I'm going to start with that foam roll on the bottom of my knee. And now if it's uncomfortable on your other knee, because that's the side that's supporting, you can put something like a foam roller or sorry, not a foam roller, but a foam pad down underneath that knee. So now I've got some support there, I'm starting above the knee. I'm going to roll down a little bit and then back. Now the key here is to move super slow and controlled. I'm not moving really fast here. Now if I find a spot that's really tender, you can, one, hang out and breathe. The number one thing is that we want slow controlled breaths here to tell our nervous system to relax. But then you can also go into some knee flexion and extension to kind of tack that muscle down. And I'll slowly make my way up to the hips. I'm gonna roll down a centimeter and back up, nice and slow. And right now I might be working right down the middle. If I wanted to hit more of the outside, I'm gonna angle my body slightly to get more of that outer part of the quad. Again, moving nice and slow. If I find a sticking point that's really tight, I might hang out and breathe. I can also kind of friction back and forth. Slowly making my way up the hip. Now that's me working the more lateral part of the quad. If I want to work more inside, so more medially, I'm going to turn my body the other way to get more of the inside of the quad here. And so it does require some adjustment. I'm also holding myself in a plank here, which can be very fatiguing for people. So you can also just relax down if you find a spot that's really tight kind of play it by ear. But the key here is moving nice and slow and controlled. If you find a spot that's tight, you can move through it, breathing calm the whole time. This can be very sensitive for a lot of people. So just take it nice and slow and make sure that you breathe calmly.